gloating about the decision in Colorado yesterday, other GOP candidates. Yeah, who are you with? Uh, Jake Taylor, NBC News. Thank you. Uh, you said the other candidates were quietly gloating about uh, the decision yesterday in Colorado. What exactly were you referring to? I'm referring to the fact that many other candidates have now referred to their project in Colorado of being one of collecting delegates. Well, I think there's something deeper at issue here. I think the right answer should be to say that we don't tolerate this form of election interference in the GOP primary. And the easiest way to solve that problem, to nullify the effect of that election interference, is for no GOP candidates to participate in a primary that's rigged. I think other candidates have refused to make that same commitment as me. And I think it reveals that this may be part of their plan, which I don't think is actually what most of the Republican voters want. We don't want a rigged primary. We want one where the people who elect the government leaders are the ones who actually get to choose who leads the government. No other candidates have followed suit on, yes. on what you said. Are you surprised by that? Do you expect them to? I would expect them to. I would hope they do. But I would be deeply disappointed if they don't. I think this is about something bigger than just this election. This is about basic principles in this country. We, the people, are the ones who choose our U.S. president. That's the way it works in the United States. So if you can have unelected judges in a particular state using their own theory of the law when somebody has never even been charged, let alone convicted of an insurrection or otherwise, to make their own interpretation to keep somebody off a ballot, I think that's the beginning of the end of the democratic process in our constitutional republic. And so I would say, I want to make a point, is it would be a lot more convenient for me if Trump weren't in this race, but that's not how I want to win. And any other Republican that's trying to win that way should be ashamed of themselves and I think has actually revealed themselves to be something other than what they claim to be, which is, a, which is a true patriot who stands for our constitutional principles. If Iowa or New Hampshire somehow took Trump off the ballot, would you withdraw from the caucus here or the primary? Iowa and New Hampshire are not going to do it because we're actually here and responsive to the people. And I think that the answer if is... I'm not, I'm not responding to scenarios that don't exist right now. We see a, a case that came down from Colorado. It was dead wrong. And the answer is we have to stand for what's right. California is now saying the same thing. I posted that is, is actually their lieutenant governor is instructing their secretary of state to look into it. I posted the same thing earlier today. The same principle applies there as well. And so I don't know what kind of gotcha game you're trying to play or, or exactly what agenda or narrative you're trying to push. But I'm giving you my hard answers, which is that I believe we stand on principle that we should not want election interference in the GOP primary. And it is shameful if other GOP candidates can't stand up with the spine and say the same thing.